Okay, so we're going to uh, open the Assure ID7 software and we're going to build a card. We're going to have some features that you can uh, turn on or off items on the card that would print, like you can turn on where it says activity or turn that off. Uh, we're going to show you how to do that. It defaults to the user ID of Jin because that's the name of this computer, but the um, the user ID and password are both the same. They are admin, A-D-M-I-N. And I can go into a variety of areas. We're going to start with card design. Click OK. And so we've got a blank card. Now what you can do is you can go to card setup to say that I want to have all these different kinds of things. We are using a CR80, we know that. Um, if we want to make a dual-sided card, we can. Landscape or portrait. Um, and, and obviously we can use data sources, but we're not doing that. So we're just going to do a simple single-sided card, but we're going to have some of these features. So I'm going to go back to home. Uh, we're going to start with putting a photo in here. And you just click and hold the mouse and drag how big you'd like your photo in the area. Notice we've got rulers that tell us uh, where it's going to be, and we can call it whatever we want. The fi format's actually going to be a JPEG. Um, and then you've got a variety of different uh, fields here uh, that you can play with. We're just going to go ahead and accept those. And we can move this around a little bit, put it where we want it, but I think we're good with that. Um, we can put a, um, a text label. So this is in here and it's going to come up and say what do we want it to read uh, the field name could be text label um, the field name doesn't show it's something that you deal with and so we're going to call this just consolidated inc and you can change the uh, font by uh, highlighting what you've typed and then uh, changing your type style that you choose here We're just going to go with something like that. You can change the color of it. You have both custom colors. You're limited, as you can tell. Uh, and you also have web colors. So we'll just pick a nice red. We can bold it. We can italicize it. We can underline it. And uh, we don't really need to do any of that, so maybe we'll just leave it bold. We're going to accept this. Um, And it's actually a little big, so we're going to take it from 12, to, and there we go. So that's pretty good. We want to put in a data field, and we're going to have this be uh, first name. And we're going to leave all this the way it is. bit. We're going to put another data field. Which is last name. And so we have first name, last name. And then we can have department. this card and you start having these different items in your card if you'd like to see what really is listed in the card we have card properties which they have these non printable fields and then the printable fields and you can click on um, each one and it'll highlight um, where that particular field is so that you can tell what is assigned to what and then you can just put that back um, so what a security ranking here, and so I'm going to use a data field and put that right here in the middle. And um, I'm going to call it, instead of data field 8, I'm going to call it security. And advanced data, so I'm going to call it security, and I'm going to use the advanced data field options. And I'm going to use a pick list, and I'm going to manage the pick list. So I'm going to add an item that says 
top secret and OK. Then I'm going to add another item, which is middle secret. And then I'm going to add the last item, which is low secret. And so this will become a drop down menu. And so, OK. And with security, center that. And what we want to do is when we're looking at these things, see how it defaults to, I believe it's the top left there. We really want to have it be centered, both horizontal and vertical. And we want to do that with all of these. Center and horizontal and vertical. Otherwise you'll find things are um, floating to the left too much and you're thinking, how do I move it to the center? Well, you use the center icon there. Okay, so we've got that. Bring that in a little bit. Let's go ahead and save this. You want to save early and often. We're going to call this um, Solidated. So what I've done is I've made this compound field one here use another data field and the other data field is not a printable entry it's simply a data field and so what we're doing is we're looking at the conditions it's a conditional printing of this word activity onto the card and when we edit the condition we realize we can see that the data field that is a non printable field is called data field 14 and when it equals yes then it prints it it prints the word activity. If that equals no, then it doesn't print anything. And when you look at your card properties, we have data field 14. And data field 14 is a yes-no field type, and it is a non-printable entry. So you build this non-printable uh, entry field first, call it what you want, make it a yes-no, have it be non-printable. It shows up in the non-printable fields here, and then this compound field relies on that data field to print the word or not. Okay, so we're going to put in a um, another data field, which is an employee ID number. Say it's numeric, and we're going to say OK, and then we're going to put in a barcode right below it, and in that we're going to identify that it's going to be this barcode is going to be associated with the employee ID number. So whatever number you put in here will show up as a barcode there. Um, and we're going to again do the horizontal and the vertical. With the barcode we're going to make this a little bit taller. That's good. like that. Okay, so save the template. I'm going to preview, oops, sorry. I'm going to go to data entry. of a wall. We're just going to have a design in there. We're going to preview this. And that shows what it is. So a lot of gap in there. We need to close that up. There you go.